and nobody moves so Yeah, nice try, Mondu. My, uh, my stream is on, well, my Discord's on stream mode, so you can't DM me anyways, you know that. What is this? I mean, it doesn't look too hard. The only part, one that looks really hard is the, uh, this one right here. Oops, wrong button. This one right here. That's the only one that looks really hard. It's probably easier than I think it is. I'll give it a shot, I guess. Why not? Well, it is a castle level. Maybe I should skip because of that. And this jump is a little bit actually really bad now that I think about it. Yeah, you know what? I'll skip it. Screw it. Let me make sure my skip thing is working. Yes, it's working. Okay, cool. 20k today and it ain't happening. Also, before I forget, because I know my activity feed is being dumb. Give me a second here. I don't know why it's not showing this. Actually, why is it not showing this? That's weird. There we go. Now it's fixed. Uh, Kobe Carey, thank you for the three months. Welcome back, by the way. I do appreciate you uh, resubbing despite getting the gift sub. Really do appreciate that. So. I don't know if I'm going to play this one either. How long was it? 22 seconds? Yeah. Expert, huh? Is there a door here? Uh, oh, it's just a jump. I see. I know why the door is here now. I know why the door is here. It's just that you don't get screwed. Okay, see if he jumps. Oh, wow. He actually shot straight down. I didn't expect that. I thought I was going to go above my head. I was going to duck, and it killed me. Alright, that's fair. I'm not awake yet, so fair enough. That's what I should have done, but I didn't see the platform in time. Hello, Tao. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not awake yet. I was paralyzed by indecision, that's true. I wasn't sure if it was a... Because when you're really close to Bowser and SMB1, you're not sure if the shot is straight down or not, because sometimes it just stops above your head. So I wasn't sure if I should have jumped or not, and I should have. Eh, I don't think this is worth it. Timing a jump like that with Yoshi is not too hard, but like, it's a mid-air jump, so I'm not going to play it. Made by Spyro, they make good levels normally. I didn't realize I had the grab pound there. But there was a double arrow, so that's my fault. They taught me the tech at the beginning, and I didn't realize they were going to make it consistent, and they did. That's my fault, completely. Again, I'm not really awake. I don't know if I had to hit that on off because it didn't really show that I had to. Oh my god, dude, what? Oh, I was supposed to jump. Okay, Spyro, you're making things harder for me to read when you have so many things going on. This is my last chance on it, probably. And I gotta move on. The arrows are really unnecessary, some of them are, anyways. Oh my god. That's why there's a conveyor. Okay, I thought it was the conveyor was going the other way. Oh no. Wait, why did I have to? Oh no. I don't actually need that guy. I could have saved it, but I kicked. Ugh. I hope you get three lives at the end, Spyro. I really hope you do. Oh. 
I deserve that. I don't like the fact that I have to follow a floating down platform because that makes me want to go faster and I really shouldn't. I'm losing lives because of that. Unnecessary spikes, unnecessary artificial difficulty just to make the level harder to read. <sighs> and then see what I mean by the platform thing? I forgot about the Goomba. I saw the platform and I went right straight for it. The platform isn't even used later on. You gotta make it a little bit more consistent that way, bud. Oh, there's a there's a wall to the left. Of course. I think I lost like what five lives on this. At least I'm getting my lives, some of my lives back. Honestly, not all. I'm just trying to prove a point. This this level's really hard to read. Even if I'm not really awake, this level's extremely hard to read. I don't think arrows should be used for some of these things. Huh? What the fuck was I supposed to do there? Yeah, they're really screwing with my player vision with the focus in hand. I mean, I think I'm at a minus six, minus seven. I can get some of my lives back if I clear it now. I need to see what the hell I'm supposed to do at the end. That indicator, hold on. I threw it a little before it. That indicator needs to be further to the right for, to make it accessible. Actually, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing there. What? What is stopping me from just jumping there? Oh, oh, I killed the Wiggler! That's why I'm so confused. Do you think they have Kaizos under their uh, areas? Probably, right? I can't just cheese it. Whatever, I know what I need to do now. I figured it out. Oh, of course they get three winners at the end. Huh. I killed the Wiggler, I didn't even realize I killed something because I didn't see it. That needs a little bit of work. Not much, just uh, remove all the unnecessary arrows. You don't put coins on the walls instead. That is so much easier to see than arrows in a level that's dark. Yeah, I really don't think I should be touching this. Um... Gaining some distance! Oh, here we are, in, uh, Jebate land. Oh, Luna, you're, you're a bit late to the party, bud. What am I doing? I think this is one of those moments where you just have to just get out of here. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't die. I'll go play Luna's level, I guess. Jabate land, <laughs> Jabate land the. Okay, Ryson, are you awake as well? Because I don't know if you're actually awake either. Hi, Dimitri.
What in the world is garbage, man? <laughs> Why? Why are there spinies on the track? The level was fine without them. Okay, well, at least he found a, something interesting, I suppose. Luna does not disappoint. He brings us the garbage. Uh, if you're going to make an Among Us remake of something, or... Not a remake, you know what I mean. A parody, that's the word I'm looking for. What was... Am I supposed to be ahead of the game there? Or, like, what? what is their intention? That's a lot harder than I remember it was the first time I played this level. Kill them. I really hope you can kill them. I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be jumping because there is dangerous. I think I'm supposed to be on the left side. I actually am pretty sure I'm supposed to be on the left side the entire time of the level. Why do people ruin the music? I'm not saying the music's bad. Why do people make garbage levels to accompany with music levels? I don't understand the concept of that. Makes me appreciate Composer, Kathy, etc. more, honestly, with these levels. Glad we're done. Oh my god, it scared the shit out of me. I thought there was enemies for a second. <laughs> I don't really know, Dimitri. Um, yeah, close to a boo. Got lucky that time. Uh, thank you for the level, Luna. Makes me appreciate better music levels, that's for sure. I don't know what you're trying to say address me, but, you know. I figured you can kill them with bombs. I just didn't know if, if it was a good idea or not. And they're just shooting... Things that don't matter, hopefully. Am I supposed to keep it safe? Or am I supposed to have it shoot out and kill some of the land? Oh, I guess it's too late now. I guess we're gonna find out. Probably shouldn't get in front of it. Well, now I have to, so. That works out really well for me, honestly. You know what? Destroy everything, see what happens. One time I tried to evade it, it shoots out at me. All three of them do. Well, two of them did anyways. The one time. God, that sucks. But yeah, I don't even know what this level is to be honest.
Huh. That seems like a skip to me. Yeah, thrilling, right? Imagine your level breaking because you allowed the cannons to actually shoot. Is this a troll? I see no reason to actually... Hmm. This is very suspicious. I don't even know why it's here. Oh, I get why it's here now. You set up- I didn't even think about that. Japan uncleared. I'll do it for one more life because I'm a dummy. Sure, why not? But if I get into the 50s, I'm going to have to start making lives. Instant kill? No, surprisingly. Is it a practice level? Why is there soft locks though? When there's reset doors, I don't understand. Did I not think about that? I don't know how I made it out alive, but I'll take it. Is this really GG? Okay. Well, that's Japan for you. Door right away. <sighs> Deaf doors. God, I hate when people do this. Okay, so 15 seconds tells me I could probably hold right and be okay. Hold right, hold jump, twirl. Not gonna jump quite yet. Well. I really don't know what I'm doing here, so I could do the blind jump, which I'm gonna have to, I think. Okay then. Um, I guess I just have to trust it. Well, there's no way this one's real. I'm gonna die again. Or not? Okay. I'm surprised they even gave me a one-up, honestly. Yeah, lots of blind jumps. Death door. My general rule with pipes and doors, mostly on doors though. If I don't move and I survive, you don't get a boo. If I uh, have to move immediately out of the door, you get a boo. And that's just how it goes. To me, I find that is... Uh, speaking of garbage, what the hell is this? Like, I'll go in here on purpose just to see what kind of level we're doing. Oh, hold on. Big brain? Hold on. Oh, this is gonna be really hard to pull off. Um, I still have to hit it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If I do... Uh, I think I have to do it this way. Okay. Duck jump, immediately let go, jump immediately. I don't know if this is possible, but we're gonna find out. 
Uh, it probably is frame one, but I gave it a shot. That might actually be possible. One of these pipes is good, the other one is bad. Did they not know I could get back up? Huh. Okay, just a bunch of random shit's getting shot. Red cannon, so should be all right. What? Oh no! Aha! Wait, do I have to go back? Just I have to go back? There's an open spot up there. That kind of concerns me. Oh, there's there is more. Stuff up there. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I gotta go back in the green pipe. I'm pretty sure. Unless there's a saving grace here. The bomb, perhaps. Probably won't happen, but I gotta warn up so. Wait, isn't this where it is right now? Wait, no, I'm in the right spot. What? Hold on. There he is. Okay, so what am I doing? Because we know the answer is, you know, where we think it is. I can't just jump on top of this, you know, get up there. I guess I could use the, um, the ants, actually, now that I think about it. I might as well just see what's in, you know, one of these. Some more one ups, maybe have a reason to play the level, you know. I'm trying to think of how I can get up there. I could bounce off of the ant if I unload him. That's the only thing I can think of. There's apparently a yellow pipe I have to get. Wait, there was another, uh, there was a block at the beginning of the level. It wasn't just the pipe I went into. It was a singular brick block. I do remember that in the level now. I might just use that after I get all these points, because, uh, what ifs are very important right now. I don't know why they put sound effects in it, but I guess I can't complain. If I had a mushroom, I could just hold down on these. But if you don't have a if you don't have a mushroom, you can't hold down. I only had a single block in that, or a single point. That was weird. Whatever. Anyway, it's got my information out of it. I think the best idea is to reset. That way, everything else resets too. Whatever's down. Oh, you have a key, but it doesn't matter. Whatever's down here is what matters. This pipe right here. Of course. Wait, if that's the case. Oh, dude, I have information that I, for next life. Because I can't win now. Well, oh, actually, no. There was a way to win, but I've wow. lost my chance. I have an idea here. There's a fire flower, and it's hidden. Uh. Yeah, no, I know how to get a fire flower for now. Wow, okay. I'm gonna reset. The 10,000 treasure you traded in just got you 100,000 rupees. You're a very lucky person. Oh, right. I'm just gonna reset anyways. 
Put her caper stricken, okay. I can do that after this level. It's really chaotic, though. Oh my god. Okay, then. Kill you. Jump here. Kill you. Try not to spawn any of the foods. How do I want to do this? I got the dash pad to worry about. This should be okay. He says as he's desperately trying to get the item. <laughs> I think we're all right. And we can get some extra coins here too. We don't need too many because uh, I did see a bunch of coins down the road. Good enough for me. Goody. There could be soft locks. Gotta be very extra careful here. That pipe's probably not real. They want me to go down. It says hi right there. There's a key that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I could go above? I feel like this is not the, the right play though. I have a fire flower, so. Yellow pipe to win. Oh no, just that's it. That's the whole level. Okay. Thank you, Japan. We have hope in humanity still, you know. <laughs> what a level, man. I actually made lives off of that. Japan really makes us wonder if we're really human or not, you know? I like the name of the level. I think it's funny. No, I didn't mean to ground pound, you dummy. Oh, this is going to be really hard with Boomerang. To the front! Don't you dare. I will make another awful boss rush level asteroid. <laughs> Wait, I have a boomerang. I could just use it. What am I doing? I'm gonna wait it out. There's a reason for it. You'll see why. There's a red coin, uh, or re there's a board box over here, but I don't... I feel like there's a troll. Maybe not? So I just skipped most of the level? Oh, the word box from the swamp goes straight to the bottom. Got it. Alright, Astra, I guess we'll play your level. Is it gonna be one of your boss fights? Did you find something interesting? I found an awful boss fight level that you'll hate to play. But I don't feel like sending it to you. Not one of your boss fights. A team boss level. I guess I'll be the judge of that one, huh? Hello, Ninja. Yeah, I know. I know, Dimitri. When I died, when I ground pounded, I realized I could just break the blocks. It wasn't even hard blocks for some reason. Also, why is this timed? Oh. Oh my god, that's, uh... Okay, then. This level does need a power-up, mind you. 
doesn't need a timer as such as tight as this, but whatever. Nope. Really hope it's not, uh, really unfair, you know? Should've grabbed the bomb. Now we're using the shells, okay. Wow. Almost as if he's gonna be jumping over my shells all the goddamn time. This level really does need a mushroom. Too many bullets on screen. The Cloud Bowser is the hardest room so far. Why would you put that first? Nah, really? That counts? Okay. Whatever. Oh, you can't do it anyways because level creators are dead. Doesn't believe in freebies. Or smart tactics, I should say, more than freebies. They do believe in indicators, I'll give them that, you know, so. Yeah, the first one should be the last one. An enemy in, in a cloud is the worst one you can actually do at first. You know? Plus they light him on fire. Too many Mortons to use in this fight. I'd say only two would be good. They put a bunch of extra shit in the level. I'm not sure if that should increase difficulty. Probably. The timer is probably going to be extremely tight, or at least very close to being tight. And I'm losing because of fire. That's the main reason. So you can't take one with you, watch. They don't allow it, which is dumb. I think you should allow it. You know? The idea is solid, don't get me wrong. I like the idea of giving certain, uh, you know, items per second. I think that's really cool. But I think there needs to be two less Mortons in this room. You know? Put it at 100 seconds then. I see no reason to uh, have it at 90 if it's not tight. If you just want the fast speed run sound, put it at 100. You know, so. Let's put it this way, Ashray. I'm not having fun. He hasn't jumped yet. There he goes. Yeah, that's fair. I didn't duck jump twirl. And I couldn't because I had an item in my hand. <sighs> Yeah, that's my moment to be messed up there. Oh. Wow. Imagine dying to a bomb. There's so many aspects of the level you have to keep track of. 
bet you doesn't even give one ups at the end, does it? Because I don't care about that. I think each team boss level should have a reward at the end of it. We'll see if that's true. Yeah, there's no time to think. You have to actually go fast here, no matter what. You have to do an optimized route. There's really no time saved. Sure, you can do 20 seconds less, but that's from an optimized run point, you know? And they're not gonna let me have one in the next room, right? Yeah. No one ups yet, if there are any. There might be some hidden. I didn't even think about that. That's why they use a pipe so you can use six fucking eggies. I see. I mean, we know the whole level. I have no interest in playing it. I'm not gonna boo it, but I do think this level. Well, hold on. Did they at least do the thing? No one ups? Okay. Not a fun level. Moving on. I have no interest in playing this today. I got things I need to do. Sorry, Astray. I'll be nice and give you your points back, though. I've seen the whole level, I've seen the whole hand, I don't care to play it. If they gave one-ups, I actually would make an attempt, but I don't see no one-ups, so... I don't really care at that point, you know? That's all it really takes. Put some effort into your level. Player-friendly. All you need is one mushroom. That's all you need for the whole level. Bare minimum. I would give a mushroom per fight, but... One mushroom is all it would have taken for me to want to play it. They're making the, the level overly hard for no reason. It's not that I can't do it, I just don't want to do it. I don't have a reason to do it when I have other things to do today. More important things. Speaking of boss fights, though. Hmm. Okay. So there's a spike ball coming from there. And he fell off somehow. Cool. At least they give him mushroom. Mushroom per fight! Look at this! <laughs> now we have more annoying shit on the screen, but you, you get the point. Mushroom per fight, there you go. Reason to play it. It's like it just landed into my lap. It's like, here you go. This is what you wanted. Now go play it. What if it's progressive? I hope it is. All right, that's a lot of concentration. Oh my God. Maybe I take back what I said about this level. Oh my God. Yeah, no, that's a skip, sorry. Too many things. Now this is, okay, that explains everything what I just said about the previous level that we played from Asteroid. Much more fight, but now the fight got so goddamn intense, intense I just couldn't actually like physically see what I needed to do. It was a good idea, and I actually would have completed that in viewer levels, but not in endless. No way, I'm not. If they gave me three lives at the start, maybe I would actually want to continue that, but no, not touching that anymore. 
It was pure chaos, yes. Off-screen enemies, too. They were shooting things at me. Impossible pipe. Okay, I see what they want. At least the previous level that Ashray sent me had some sort of breathing space, but not much. You know? It really makes a difference when you have breathing and no breathing. But that one gave mushrooms, let that be known. So I was willing to actually give it a chance. I wish you could see the track under lava so you know if it's going to go down or not. I'm just... okay. Oh, that's the... okay. I see what they want. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out this level as well, you know. Okay, that's on the... okay. Alright, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go this way first. I wanna see what's over here. Huh. Why is there... stuff over here? Did I miss something? Hold on. I might have missed something on the left side. I'm gonna double check. No. I didn't miss anything. Other than death, because I hit the block. So, that's fine. That's fine. So this is why you don't put extra things in the level as aesthetics, because you're not sure if there's actually more level over there that you need for red coins or not. And to make sure I had to go actually physically over there. And it got me killed because the design has a really nasty jump going back. And that's my fault for not recognizing that at first. But at the same time, it does make the section, you know, exploring make it a lot harder in a Zelda level, so. Not really much of a minus, honestly. It just sucks. Didn't I get the red coin already over there? I did, you could just, okay. I see. So what you're telling me is, if I do this, I can cheese the rest of that, cool. I just made that harder on myself. Actually, no, I didn't. It's gonna go away now. Checkpoint. Cool. Where's my link, though? Huh. No link at the start? That's kind of weird. Of the checkpoint, I mean. Me not. Oh, that explains why you're placed that way. There's your link from checkpoint. Okay. Did they not realize I could just shoot them and kill them? Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I have infinite links. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I can just do this, and it should work every single time. That should be a GG. Interesting boss fight, but it's easily cheesable. Should have put more one ways down. I know you can't put it in front of pipes, but there's one ups over here. All right, you got me interested. Oh, it. It literally, it's just free one-ups. That's all it is. Wow, okay. Oh, dang. I should have checked that first. A GG and a THX. Wow. Yeah, so sometimes putting too much aesthetics on level really harms exploration when you're, looking, when you're hunting for red coins. 
Now, that could have been more linear, but since I like to explore all super expert levels, it got me a little confusing. However, the level itself was pretty generous, actually. It wasn't all that hard. There's a lot of breathing spaces. I'm going to give it, like, just because it, they cared, at least about the player, for the most part. The only part that sucked was, you know, exploring because of aesthetics and then getting screwed because of it. Not really so much on the creator, but just keep in mind next time, you know? Yeah, for a 7-C, that was pretty easy, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. How do I want to do this? Like that, I guess? And that- okay, it just slides you off. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be touching this in Endless because I saw what's coming up, but for shits and giggles, right? You only need one blowy jelly. I'm pretty sure any more than that, you just, yeah. Uh, I didn't, I didn't ask to be on this one. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, that's a skip. Awful. Needs to be one blowy jelly, please. So you can actually account for any of the... Tech. I got abducted. I really did, yeah. Okay, then. The beginning is really suspicious, but all right. I kind of want to go through that, you know, pipe and see if I could just use the whole level, but... Huh. Is this the final key door one? What's this one? Is this good? Does this go back to the sideways spring area? No. Well, I was right. It goes into the door. Uh -uh. Wow. Imagine letting the player know what your intentions are at the beginning of the level. Why even block that off? There's no reason to. Let the player go back. Let them, let them explore. Make sure they know what they're doing. I mean, I guess it's my fault for not going to the red pipe, a uh, red coin, key coin pipe, but like, at the same time, normally that means that's the last one you should probably get. What is this? Why is there a spike there? What is this design? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right then, whatever. There's pals above me. There's a door here. I'm gonna go with the pal way. We know what kind of garbage that is usually. Didn't blind me that time though. Okay. All right. That door has to be death, right? Wow, look at this showing your hands right away. Okay. Get that garbage out of here. Now we know why this is here. I also grab the coins while I'm here. I see no reason not to. Instant death for some reason? Surprisingly, no. You know I have to check every jump now, right? Please just put me on top of the flagpole. Thank you. Does that mean there's World Record Cheese? I don't know. Probably.
you know, if the level is long enough, you could probably grab a POW, take it back to the, the start, utilize it, and then do a POW drop. Why are we doing this? Okay, we know this is a small level, but am I going to play it? No. Why? Because the triple jump at the start. I don't trust it. Give it one shot. Wow. Okay. I should have died there. A couple times, actually. But I'll take it. I did to give it one shot, and it worked out. That last jump should have killed me on the left spike of where I was landing because I jumped too early, but it didn't. Mixed challenge, really long level, probably shouldn't touch it, but hey, here we are. Oh, it was a Z. Well, dead anyways. Didn't have a Z indicator. Should have been obvious with the bomb there. Hmm. I don't know if I should touch this. But it seems like they like Z's a lot for some reason. I don't know why. If I can get that shell, I can make lives, but I don't think I can. I think I can be more patient with that indicator. I'm being dumb. <clears throat> I'm actually being dumb here. The level is a little weird, though. The beginning with the saw is it's really close to killing the player, you know? But I probably shouldn't really worry about that kind of stuff. Oh. Oh, okay. Is this, this can't be a reset door because of that. What? Why? Why would you put a troll in a reset door and not actually troll the... Okay. All right. Well, they didn't lie. It is a mixed challenge so far. It has not lied about that. The spring. They probably want me to... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was going to be a midair, honestly. Not this. Although you probably could do a midair and grab a spring with you if you do a really neat trick. Almost touched that one. It wouldn't have mattered. I could just reset anyways. Trust it. Fuck. Imagine trusting the level. <laughs> why? 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 Why the? Why the coin troll? I don't. Okay. Whatever. Maybe there's a way to make lives here. If I were to hold on. Do that maybe. No. I need to do it differently if I wanted to make lives there. Whatever. I'll just take that life. I should have known that was a troll after I saw the potaboo. Whatever. See you later, everyone, dude. Have a good one, man. All right, Jesus should be fine. I've had some interesting levels today. They've mostly been not good, but yeah. Just needed one more troll to boo it. The rest of the level was fine. Oh. I don't know why I'm playing it now. The arrow doesn't help if you're not holding right. <laughs> Should have a one way to hold on to that instead. That's what I would have done. This is a skip. I'm moving on. With that fire bar there, I don't want to touch it anymore. I can forgive the no bucket. It's fine. But a fire bar like that? Trying to kill the player because they're not fast enough, you know? 
That's a bit rude. Can I hit him from here? No. I could probably kill him. I really want to get rid of him. I could probably kill him, but... That tank coin looks really tempting, but I don't think it's worth it. That was my controller. Okay. Alright then. I got information. Alright. I was not pressing down left. I was pressing straight down on my analog. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh. There. Now I don't have to worry about him. Take my time. Don't go fast. Take your time. Uh, I think it's better to be here now. I could be right here and not take damage. I have to... Is it going to bot me up when I do this? It does, okay. Hmm. Do they want me to kill it? Is that the plan? I don't know if I can. Either way, that's probably what- Oh! There was a safe spot, never mind. I made it harder on myself. Um... Okay. What? It's kind of a cool concept, actually. Grasp your new persona! I kinda like that concept. <laughs> Yo, Trent, thank you for the fight your own gift subs. Don't worry, we're playing Zooter later tonight, I promise. I'll even stream it. I do appreciate the subage. This man's trying to keep his first place, that's for sure. I don't think I've ever seen him on my Twitch in like... Other than the stream with in a while, honestly. This level is being really, uh... How, how do you put it? Scrooge McDuck on me right now. Because they're not giving me the loots. 30 coins would have been fine, honestly. Yeah, and a little bit of spending money. You don't have to spend money on me anymore. It's all good, dude. Don't worry about it. I do need to worry about this, though. I do like this concept as well. I think it's kind of cool. I worry if it's going to try to hit me with a sneak attack on me, you know? The trade in a 10,000 treasure, and everybody wins. 1,000 rupees for everyone in chat. I'll do that in a bit. I'm very focused right now. Oh, that was really cool. I think this level has really good concepts in it. I think it's a bit too long for a clear condition level, though. I really do. Like that 30, oh, that 10 coin right there? Not even worth your time. It really isn't. Oh. Now you give me coins. I, or, now you give me one ups. I see. Again, it's too long for a clear condition. I think remove the clear condition, have a checkpoint or two, and you got yourself a really good level. All right, 1,000 rupees for everyone. There you go. Spreading the love, you know? Spreading the wealth for everyone in chat. You don't know what the rupees are for? Exclamation point cards, exclamation point. Why does this look familiar? This is not the same level from before. Did they get re-uploaded? No, this is not the same level before. It's a little different, same guy though. I think. But yeah, exclamation point store, exclamation point cards. That's how you figure out what's going on with that. Because you can play cards on stream and there's rupee store, so yeah. <laughs> Let's have speed run. Yes, okay. We go from one decent level to all the garbage. Or at least, you know, the hard stuff. Actually, Frank makes some pretty good levels. Let's see what he's got. Seems pretty simple at the start. 50 seconds long. What's the, what's the, what's the catch here? I don't understand. 
Like, I have an extra shell in my hand. Do I need it? Do I... I don't... This doesn't feel super expert to me. This feels expert. What's going on? I don't think Frank would put invisible blocks in this level. Normally. I don't think he would. Yeah, everyone's gambling the rupees away. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Anti speedrun, okay. Good to know, Frank. I know what side of the coin you on are on with the speedruns. I get it. I understand. Actually, how do you time this? What the fuck? This is why it's super extra, Frank. What the fuck, man? You made it. It was such an easy level until this point. What in the world did you make? Looks like a job for you. <laughs> Your difficulty went from extra to super expert immediately. What the hell, dude? Am I missing something? Like, this is extremely hard. Holy shit. It's a hold right section. I get it now. Yeah, Jesse, I know it's a joke, but you can be annoying at times, so you never know. Frank, what what the fuck? No, literally, what what is that checkpoint placement? And now the rest of the level is expert again. What the? I don't understand, man. Sometimes. Oh, never mind. That's super expert right there. I made a mistake playing this level. Yeah, I like the underground theme too. I'm a big fan of it as well. I probably don't want this on me. And you only give one one up? Oh, that's brutal, dude. Frank, you do realize that checkpoint is super expert, right? And the rest of your level was basically free. Uh, the difficulty spike? Please fix that. I can tell you how to fix it. Uh, checkpoint in the clear pipe, right? Put the clear pipe two blocks to the right. That's enough time to try to time it. That's actually pretty fair for the most part. However, I have another suggestion instead. Instead of having the clear pipe for so long, dig a hole basically. Put a clear pipe that's right under the pipe area where you want it, and then let the player time it instantly. When you have a long clear pipe, it's really hard to time stuff like that, you know, so. Anyways, I think there might be a dev exit in this level. Or it's literally a one-shot kind of deal, so... Yeah, yeah, Astray, get on it. Wait. Is there actually a death exit in this level? I was literally joking for the most part, huh? Hmm. Can I go up further? Just kill me. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, I know what they probably did. Hold on. There's gotta be a, some sort of cheese, right? Like that. Pow drop. Pow drop. Pow drop. That's what they did. Pow drop. Into the red pipe, maybe? Nine seconds? Ten seconds? I think you could do it. Maybe. It depends if this is actually the end or not. Yeah, it's a pow drop into the pipe. Yeah, that's gotta be the dev exit. Hold on. Either it's a pow drop into the blue pipe, which is really hard. Or it's a pow drop into the red pipe. I'm gonna try the red pipe. This is going to be really hard to do. 
without fucking it up. But I feel like that's a dev exit. Why else would that be there? I could play the regular level though. The level, level, the regular level seems really fine and actually not even that bad. But I kind of want. Huh. Tell you what, I'll actually play the level because I don't want to go through upside down drop house stuff. And I'll see what we're dealing with here. What does that mean? Maybe that's actually the answer? E-switch? That's the red, pal or red pipe from earlier, right? Power drop into pipe equals win? Huh. Why do they have... Arrows like that. Is it just to let you know how you're you're sliding the level? <laughs> now I'm starting to feel like I actually have to do the dev accent. You know, can't go in there. <sighs> well, yeah, I think I have to do it this way. Unless the shell can do something. I don't think so though. The pal seems like you have to do it this way. It seems really hard to do. Upside down, anyways. I feel like this is not the answer. There's gotta be something else here. Right? We know that there's a dev exit because of the timer. But the regular level has to be accessible somehow. There's an auto switch there. Can't enter any of these pipes. The doors don't matter, they just flip the level. Well, it shouldn't matter anyways. This doesn't really show me anything. I don't understand. Do I need the POW here? Is that what it's telling me? I need to bring the POW? I can do that. Or is it the POW pipe? See, I don't know what it's trying to tell me. I can bring the shell back, I can bring the POW back, and that's all I can really do. I can't go in any of these pipes. I could try to drop the POW into the blue pipe, so that's about it. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. It's upside down, I'm not bad. You're right. I still do think there's a dev exit though. I really do think, and I think it's in the blue pipe then. Or they miscalculated something. I have a certain amount of time to get up there. Yeah, you're right. I'm tired. I can grab that P-switch. What if- hold on. Damn, what if that was the answer? Huh. Can't enter a pipe through a P-switch. That'd be kind of dumb. I could bring a P-switch with me. Do I need it? I mean, how do I hit the on-off switch? I have a key now, but that doesn't really help me if I don't have an on-off switch I can hit. far off the ground is the red pipe? One? I mean... Nothing. Of course. Okay. But that ain't, ain't, ain't the answer. But yeah, I'm telling you, dude. Upside down mechanics really fucks with your head as a player. That's why I didn't see the one gap. Um... What do I even do? I could try to do a power drop into the blue pipe, but I feel like that's wrong. Yellow pipe didn't work. Red pipe gives you a P-switch. There's no way to access another on-off. Now I'm actually stumped for real this time, though. 
I don't have any access to that. If I drop this here. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have an idea. I see it. Sugar, thank you for the 18 months. Welcome back, dude. Fork. If I throw the shell off screen, does it hit something, you think? I know about the mechanics of that. I don't know if it's going to work here. Huh. Oh, you know what? I have a big brain idea. Well, there goes my idea. Wait, what if I go out of the red pipe? Hold on. What, did it change something when I went in the red pipe? Hold up. I didn't even look. Did it change, like, the map? A little bit. I didn't even bother looking. Doesn't seem like it changed anything. Well, I guess those ideas, I guess, they're just gone. There's no way to hit the on off. I mean, I can. Okay. What about dropping the power screen? Nine seconds, though. It's got to be that blue pipe that's the win. Yeah. I think you could power drop into that blue pipe. Can't power drop anywhere else. You could try doing one of these blue pipes, but... 9.3. Or 9.5, sorry. 9.533. The fastest thing you could do is grab how go into pipe. That's literally it ha that has to be the answer for clearing the level. Oh, I don't even know how you beat the level normally because I have no idea how you get the on offs because you can't enter any of these pipes and the doors don't make any sense either. Unless there's something hidden. I mean, if I were to toss the shell off screen over here, it could hit the on off. It'd be kind of a weird concept, but it could work. I've tried that yellow pipe, by the way, with the P-switch. It it's not enterable. I tried. Well. The only thing I can think of is to do this. Activating a P-switch in the two-door area could work, too, yeah. You're not wrong. I didn't hear anything hit, but that could potentially work off screen if it's not too far away. Huh. Well, I'm out of my ideas. Played it pretty dumb too, so I lost a lot of time doing that. I know for a fact there's a dev exit, and I'm pretty sure it's the blue pipe. I don't know how to get in there though. What's on top when I load the right, uh, when I load the right screen? I mean, Nothing on top. There's nothing. Uh, I don't know if- I don't think I threw the shell to the right over there, though. That probably was the answer, now that I think about it. Well. Apparently I didn't have enough speed, which is really unfortunate for me. Why didn't I go in the key door? I couldn't. There was a block- blocking it. I couldn't get in that key door. Ugh. This would be like a really hard level to play outside of Endless, though. Top open on the right side. Yeah, I didn't throw a shell over there, but I didn't have time to ch check everything, you know? EGR troll. Okay. If someone really wants me to figure out that level, I mean, there are skip cards for the stream. Otherwise, I'm not going to go back to it. I don't even have the level code, honestly. I never died in it.
Okay then. Oh my god, okay. Alright then. Um, try to go for, you know, a fancy jump. Oh, actually, hold on. I don't want to go in there. Uh, going in there is probably death. It's probably a softie down there. Surprisingly, not a softy. Okay. Thanks for the one up, bud. Okay, then. I guess we're just gonna have to wait for you. Invisible blocks. I guess not. Maybe invisible switch somewhere. Whatever. Probably a death door, but I'm gonna go for it. They laughed at me already. I'm dead. Not dead. Need a P switch apparently. Where do I get a P-Switch? Probably from earlier? Maybe this is just not the way to go. Okay. So I have to have a P some sort of P-Switch. Huh. And an enemy drops down. Huh. Okay then. We jump to the right. That's probably a dumb idea. Well, where else could I go? I can go to a pipe, I guess. Go into this pipe. Can't go in there. How about this next pipe? Can I go into the next pipe? Can. I have a warp box and a pipe, and I think warp box is bad. Oh! Is there another pipe I need to know about? Huh. Well, we can at least see if this is a soft lock or not. It is. Interesting. Where do I go? Hidden block path, maybe? Or a full jump to the right? I'm a little curious to play it. I didn't die, so I guess I'm not playing it. What if I had the shell? Fuck me, dude. <laughs> Wait, no, I can't do that anyways. I can't do the shell. You know why? Because I have to do a spinning jump. I can't keep a shell in hand when I do that. I can't bring the shell there. It's impossible, I have to do a spinning jump. At first, I thought that was actually the solution. Mm. Wait. Can I secure this real quick? I probably shouldn't have done that. Wait, I need that. I need that shell, though. Interesting. I'm playing five. This level is really breakable. If I get that shell mint, do it really quickly, do all the things really quickly, I win. The shell mint's in the screen, though. I can't get the shell mint. 
I can put it on my head and have protection later. Yeah, I'm willing to do this one more time. Normally, I wouldn't give a life out for this kind of level, but I think I got it down. I just got to make sure I get that shelmet. Wait. Okay, now I don't really know what's going on. Okay, well, I've wasted three lives in this level. Uh, and it has an invisible block, which is really unfortunate for me. I need to make sure I don't take damage there. I think the best thing I could do is actually do a Z jump on the Thwomp. This level is completely bullshit. No, you can't do a Z jump there. You just take damage. So you have to lose your helmet there, no matter what. I think you have to enter that door. That was the idea. On the side. Of the yeah, you have to enter the door on the side of this, uh, the P switch. Okay, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with that level. Really blind where you need to go. What is this garbage? Well, apparently it's a linear speed run, but you can be broken. Speaking of speedruns, and I shouldn't be touching. Really? I died for being too good? Okay. One more time. Why not? 30 seconds long. You have to do a triple jump there. Okay. And that's why auto scroll is bad. Because you don't know you're supposed to do a triple there. Because you're not going to do a triple and hold right and hope the guy you don't have to spike. There's no reason to do that. And look at this starting. All right, the algorithm is really bad today. We're really seeing all the nasty levels all of a sudden. I shouldn't even be touching this level. This level's not... I already lost because I don't have speed anymore. Unless I can go back up. I'll give it one shot, I guess. Oh, well. There's the one shot. Gotta commit to a hold right you can't see. Moving on. Out, I guess. We done? Okay, fourteen seconds. Alright, so there were extra coins, despite having the peace wish. Also, look at that spike wall at the end, that's pretty nasty. One dash four. This is either their actual real super world, or they just tried to make one before the super worlds came out. Oh! It's global time, so I don't know if I want to be touching this. Well, that worked out pretty well, didn't it? Last fight? Okay, is it just survival? I can do that.
This should be the whole level. Any one-ups? Oh, dang time. All it takes is to make a decent level, you know? Yeah, that was a level. Close to a like. There's a couple things that were wrong with it. They could have made it the experience a bit better. The Goomba, big Goomba section should have been less, uh, should have been more close together, not so far apart. It felt like a hold rider, you know? Oh my god. I was not ready for this. Oh, there's lava. Cool. Well. Gotta do it fast, but not too fast. There we go. This looks like a lunar level. This is something he would make. Uh, bad levels is probably about 90%. No joke. And actual, like, you know, trolls and stuff. Not, not the stuff that I deem as artificial and garbage. I'm talking about the actual real garbage levels. Uh, artificial slash meh would be probably 5 to 6%. Well, maybe 7%. I'm going to be fair there. Good levels is probably about 1%. Actually, 2%. We'll put great under 1%. That would probably be the... It really is 90% garbage. It really is. That's what you're getting into. This one is okay. It's a bit awful because of the artificial uh, timing. Actually, what? In the world was this? Oh, I was supposed to drop down. Hold on. Can I time it? Or is it not a circle over there? Well, I might as well see what this was. Oh. Drop down. And it looks like you, um... It doesn't like, look all that bad, actually. I'll play it again. It really doesn't look that bad. I was about to skip it, but I thought, you know what? I think I know what they were going for here. So I'll give them a chance. I would have had a down arrow there instead, but yeah, it's fine. Not that bad. It's just a bit hard to read sometimes. No checkpoint though, huh? I want to play the level as the creator intended it to. Go right immediately. Well. Okay. My uh, feelings of this level is slowly starting to change. It really is, and yeah, this is a skip, unfortunately. Because I missed that on off, so. I am gonna wait. I'm not gonna waste life on that. The, the, the end. The sub world literally became extreme garbage. Just. Yeah. They should have ended the level after. Oh my god. Alright, bye. You're not supposed to dodge it. You're sp Well, you're supposed to be on the left side, I think. I don't. I don't actually know how you're supposed to load those potabus correctly, to be honest. Oh, it seems like a real speed run. Oh, don't lie to me. Don't do it. 
Two, four, six. Couldn't I just jump and hit that instead of throwing it up and put the shaman on? If I'm not mistaken. Wait, wasn't that just above? Oh, this is the sub -level. And now we have a random dropper, by the way. But you know what? It's fine. You know why it's fine? We have a shelmet. Also, they have arrows and coins and such. So it's like... Oh! Okay, that's fine. If this was a pit, I would have died. Good thing I didn't drop down, because I would have got hit with a spiked floor. So, normally I have boo droppers, but that was a coin dropper, and it was kind of arrowy, so... Whatever. And yeah, the levels today were really bad. I think after we're done with the set, I want to go back to that level with the, the, the blue skull platforms. Uh, the lava lifts. I want to see how bad it is in the subworld. I'm actually really curious. Also, speedruns. Speedruns everywhere. You know? I'm still trying to figure out how this person found fun in this, but whatever, you know. Who am I the judge? Oh, that was my fault. These jumps are getting really hard. Jeez. There's a checkpoint and a speed run. Okay. All right. I died for that. Okay. That's okay. We didn't have enough time to clear the level anyways. So I need to hit the P-switch, jump over? I'm so confused what that part's all about. No one ups, okay. Yeah, I'm a winner. Yeah, good level. But I still stand by the ninety percent bad levels. If I'm being generous, 80%, but it just depends on how you view it, I guess. The level does save from, what, easy to hard? Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, they're coins. I'm like, what? Am I supposed to go in that pipe? I'm so confused. Huh. I've never actually done this before. This is kind of funny. Just letting the coins come onto me. I'm making like a thumping noise. Did you hear that? I didn't actually see what I was supposed to be doing, so let's uh, reiterate. Okay, so it's not a drop kick. However, yeah, no, it's, it's just a throw to the left. Got it. What am I doing? Is that supposed to be a double shell jump and I didn't... Okay. 
I can do a, a shell jump and a spring up. Hold on. Oh, I can, I have my double shell jump right there. Perfect. Wait, I can't do a double with the... I can do a spring double. That's about it, though. Okay, hold on. There's nothing over there. So, if I can't go in here, then the only thing I could do... is a spring shell jump. That's it. Wait, what? I'm actually really confused. Hold on. Are you telling me that hitting that actually... What? In the world? Hold on. This just respawns, right? Okay. I have questions. So many of them. I mean, if I hit this on off... There's a fuck. Wow, nice mine, by the way. I want to keep my spring, if possible. Okay. I didn't even think about the vines from the spring. I it just didn't... what in the fuck? Hold on. Um. I want that 50. Don't block me. Okay. That's gonna get a boo. Oh, I was supposed to... Peace was as bad. why the peach witch was there this is this is really bad it's kaizo stuff dude i don't think i can survive this i could try to make a jump into it toss it to the right and get lucky but i think it's just better to skip it is possible to win from there it is but it's extremely hard It's not worth it. I'm being generous with 80 if I'm being extremely generous. I think 90 is actually the accurate amount of bad levels in the, in the algorithm. When I mean bad, I mean... Well, this stuff is... This, this is just hard precision. Would I call it bad? Not necessarily. Would I call it uh, fun? Not necessarily either. Uh, depends on your opinion of precision. This is really good for people like Z7 who enjoy really hard precision. But as for level design goes, this is not a good level for level design. There are ways to make this a bit better for hard precision. I wouldn't say it's a bad level though. I wouldn't say it's a good level either. That's more of a meh level. There are ways to make good hard precision. You're giving me one of you're giving me bait. What is... Uh, there's, there's just so much bad in this level. Oh. I bet you I have to hit this anyways. Watch. Yeah, I have to hit it anyways. I have to kill the beetle, right? Okay. Here are Goombas, or Galoombas. Oh, they are actually Kaisos, what the fuck? Well, luckily I can skip, so. Oh, the Buzzy has the key, I have to, I see what you want me to do. But you know what, at least I can skip, goodbye. I get now what I need to do, but why the dark? Why have it dark, just have it regular water. There's no reason to have it dark.
<laughs> it's a door. <laughs> Bet you the door kills you, or something close to that. It, in a way, that kind of does, but not really. I think we're okay. I got the rare hitbox, where you can't press jump, jump off of a spring when you do two at the same time. This is why singular springs are better. And double or triple. Interesting. It's fast. 18 seconds. Okay, one of these. But it was actually not as tight as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like full. Uh, hold on. If I'm going to beat this level, hold up. Okay, nine seconds. Hold on. That pipe is the win. Got it. Okay. I get it. Taking damage on purpose. And this on just in case. For some reason, there's another room. Okay. You know, I could have actually made lives if I would just hit start over. Use the staircase of uh, spikes next to me with the shelmet. I could have made lives if I really wanted to. And I probably should have because I'm getting some really bad levels today. I mean, look at this title, Utterly Trash Early. I don't think that's even a real world. Uh, re real world, I can't even speak today. It's not even a real word is what I was trying to say. Oh, it's just trolls on trolls on trolls. Never mind. Now we have tight jumps. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, there really aren't precision. This is no precision yet. What was that? Oh. I'll take your checkpoint. Wait. Hold on. If I swap it, should I cheese the level? Actually, even. I'll take it one step further. I'm gonna make some lives off of this level. trust it because I know bullet bulls don't have heads and somewhat of no no taily as well I couldn't trust I, I would have died there probably only my luck with bullet bills and how bad they are in the game I found a consistent method this time though that's okay Now we can probably cheese it. There we go. Okay, pretty simple. Still looks like cheese to me though. You don't want to hit this. You'll die if you do. Wow, they de-cheesed me. Okay. Fair enough. I need a perfect jump there. Huh, maybe there's a way to cheese that as well. I have an idea. 
perhaps. <laughs> Almost died there. Yeah, this is the cheese I wanted. Perfect. I gotta think about it though. Alright, so. If I hit that, I know I'm dead. No matter what. But. If I activate that thwomp early and get by it somehow. Hold on, I have an idea. No, that wouldn't work, would it? No, that ain't gonna work. I gotta make sure that Thwomp doesn't get activated. If I can go fast enough, I can actually have it not activated. I'll try. I had to do a small duck jump over, though, if I want to do it this way. This is a lot of cheese for one stupid jump. I don't know if it's worth it. Might not be worth it. Yeah. Gone? That's all that matters. Is, is he actually gone? Because that's what I was going for. Oh, that works out really well. Thank you. Okay, now we can cheese it. There might be Kaisas down there. I don't know why you would, but there could be. But, uh, GG nice level, I guess. The last jump is like an edge sliding jump, and it's pretty hard to do. So I decided I wanted to cheese it, and that's why I did what I did. Four minutes on a 41 second level, by the way. Also, hey, Doug. It should force you to put three lives in castle levels to upload. Barry, you know what it should do? It should make so that the axe kills the enemies to give you lives. That's what it should have done. And they never did that. What is this? Oh, was I supposed to... Was I supposed to grab that spring? That's kind of me. In a puzzle level, I mean. So what's my goal here? Why is there a... Why is there a uh, coin on that? That's the real For question. real? I mean, I want the one-ups. Don't get me wrong, I really do. I need a bomb. I'm gonna hit it. Okay, how does that help me? I still need a bomb. Well, I'm gonna hold on to this pal as long as possible. And this helps me how? Oh! I think this is the bomb? And I was supposed to hit this? And I was supposed to use the pow piece, piece which drops it down. And we use the pow to go make it go to the right? But how does it... Oh, the spring! Drop the spring in the right spot. And it should, the bomb should come towards me. And it should win. From what I understand, that's how you... But you still need the spring to... You need the other spring. Great. Thanks. To win, you need the other spring. Okay. I think we can do this. We... You know... Trent, we do have a card for that, by the way. A trade-in of 10,000 treasure got you 10,000 rupees. Seems fair. You actually need the spring. That's so lame. Alright, anyways. Why are there coins here? Is that where I want the, the spring to be? I'm going to put it in between because I don't trust this level. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh! Those coins that need to be grabbed, maybe? Because otherwise the bomb looks the other way. Hmm. Weird concept, but okay. Oh, I need to keep my pal on the left side here. I'm dumb. Actually, no. Well, yes. But no. I need another... Oh. I don't want to off-screen that spring. 
Oh, that spring needs to be. Oh, okay. So how do I get a spring to win then? I just realized. Is there a vine? Oh. I know why there's a coin above that question mark block now with the vine. Or the P-switch. Huh. So my pal was supposed to be over here, and now I'm dropping my pal and I can't... Well, I can bring my pal up here, actually. Never mind. It's the spring that's the issue. Huh. I messed this up again, but that's fine. Alright, anyways, so when I hit the P-switch... Is there a way to bring a spring with me? I think I need one. Actually, no, I need a... I need a... I need something. Double, I need two springs. Wait, how do I get two springs? Wait. Something's not right here. I need to have that bomb on the right side, so hitting... Throwing the pow after the P, the P switch is the, is the correct answer, but how do I get... Whatever, okay. Throw pow immediately. And die, because you ran at full speed like a dumbass. I think I have the answer, though. God, I hate this so much. The beginning really doesn't need the spring to do this. I think I want to have the spring here and untouched, but I'm not sure. No. No. I want to swap springs, I'm pretty sure. I think I get it. That might be good enough. I think I get it, though. There, Dr. Dabbuk found a chest containing 100,000 rupees. Actually, do I get it? Hold on. I gotta give some r rupees out because otherwise I'm gonna forget. Unless somebody gave it to him. I don't think so. Alright, I'll give a sack the rupees right now before I forget. So, there's... This puzzle's actually more big brain than I thought it was. I have to utilize the spring. So, the spring down there right now is the one on the track. Which I think is correct. I have no reason to go back up there. The idea here is to be able to have... Oh! Wait. No, I think I figured... Maybe... I, fi I think I figured it out. Yes. Yes, I think if okay, I want the spring with me. I get it. You want this spring up oh, I forgot my pal. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take this out of endless. I think I understand it though. I'm smooth braining it a bit today. You need both springs, I think I get it. You need both springs. The one you keep though is the one on the track. You do not want to lose that one. Weep. See, I told you there was a Mweep card. And he found it. <laughs> Trent, you found it. Alright, so this spring, we want to keep all three items with us. Get rid of this. That spring I just thrown is the one I need to keep up there. This spring... Hold on. Let me grab the pal first. This one I just threw needs to fall down. Okay. So we take this up here, swap these two items. This one needs to come with me, I'm pretty sure. We'll have this available. We need to check the pow as soon as we step on the P-switch, then go to the right. Oh, we have to hit this first. And hit this. Do this, reset the spring down there, and it should just work. And now my coins are gone. What?
Was it not high enough? Is that what caused the issue? You're not supposed to hit those uh, coins down there. Wait, I don't have to hit the... No, don't worry about it. I, I figured it out. <laughs> it's a long process to do one thing. This spring down here needs to fall down. The pow has to wait. I can't do the pow early. And he grabs it. Okay. This spring needs to stay with me. It has to stay up here. P switch. Don't do pow early. Throw pow later, I guess? Reset that spring. this is the solution but I need two springs how do I get two I could do it midair but then I'm stuck I need two springs here how do I get both springs oh I have to spike me you dumbass go back around and get your spring the all right figured out the solution to the puzzle now Wait, what? Oh, I didn't get the coins at the start. I'm dumb. That's why the coins are there. To make it harder. Then grab this spring. Toss the spring over. Get it later. The pit right there. I don't know what that's for, honestly. Oh, and I forgot my pal. The double one way doesn't really need to be there. It's just extra work. That's all it is. Can you please not? Okay. And uh, then we hit this. We got the coins. We reset the spring. Uh, do that. That. Toss it over here. Grab this. Come back over. Hit that. You got yourself two springs. It's not a bad puzzle, it's just a bit confusing. And a lot of soft locks. And stuff like that. Cheese the level? No, the love this is the puzzle. This is the solution. There's no cheese. Remove the soft locks. Remove that extra one way that's unneeded to make the level harder to move everything around. Remove the fact that you have a spring on a track. Just give me two springs. One on the right side, perhaps. Make the puzzle a bit better that way. Uh, you know, it's funny. I actually know this level. I'm not playing an endless. Thank you. Goodbye. I mean, in an odd puzzle level, it would look like cheese. I do admit. I can see that. Uh-oh. Yeah, I had a feeling it'd be ice. Gotta love falls that have arrows. That's my favorite thing in the universe. I'm gonna assume this is safe down here. Okay. I hate doing this. It's not fun. But if I don't do this, then I can't complete it. 
Oh, I'm gonna die. No. Wow. Not oh, why did I grab that? No, 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 no. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're on a timer. And not only is saws are dangerous, but those guys are as well, apparently. Thanks. I really do appreciate that. Cool. Great level. Should never hit that. I can get some coins if I don't hit that. Dang it. Gonna go to the left, otherwise you die to spikes. Go to the right because there's things over here. Oh my god. Why would you change your coin trail like that? <laughs> Awful dropper level, by the way. Oh. I'll take that, though. That was actually making it worth it. There we go. Do you see why I pause buffer in a level like that? Enough reaction time? Let's go test that theory. I'm gonna play without pause buffering. I know the level a bit more. But I don't actually know it, you know, to heart. Let's see if I can do this without a single pause buffer. Normally you just avoid that because there's an enemy in your way. Normally you go right though. The arrow is not really. Yeah, that arrow is pretty bad. I I do know the level, so it does help to know the level. But it's different now because of that. After knowing the level, the level is pretty damn free for the most part. But if I do that completely blind. That arrow from the thwomp area onto the spikes is really deadly. Yeah, I don't know. I can't give it a fair judgment if I, I just don't know the level beforehand. But I will not give a level like that a like because it's just technically a dropper. But there are a lot of safe spots on the ground, so there's only one nasty spike fall. So it doesn't really matter too much. Could use some more indication. Coin trails that are actually decent instead of just arrows. <laughs> Labyrinth level, huh? In the dark? No, thank you. They were nice about that, at least. Huh. I could do it. It would be pretty funny if I saved it, but I don't care enough to do it. Almost made it, though. That's a hard jump. Okay. 
Fair enough. Oh, I think they could have made it. Did it a left to right jump and I would have been fine. That section is extremely bullshit. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good. Goodbye. I don't want to play a long level like that. It felt like they were just adding level to half level, not just because they were creating something, you know? This is stuff I can do. Is it worth it? Endless? Hmm. That ending looks really free. For me, anyways. <sighs> the beginning is the hardest part, though. Gotta get up here. And then not touch the muncher. Duck, jump, twirl, ground pound next to the key. The beginning is the hardest part. The ending looks pretty damn free. It gives you three one-ups. Is it worth it in, in my current life standing? No, because it's hard precision. Otherwise, I would give it a good shot. I don't trust myself to make half muncher size jumps. When they're, like, you know, far away, is what I'm saying. Actually, no, Team Shell. Team Shell, low grav. I'm good. Yeah, it's probably a good level in general, but, like, I don't... I don't trust my new soup abilities to do that kind of jump and If it was like closer jumps, I would have definitely have gone for it for sure. But that first jump off of the donut block is extremely hard. That's why I didn't touch it. Hmm, it's a link level. Did not expect that at all. Say link in the title? No. That's link in the tags though, that's for sure. Oh. Okay. I'll just throw it the wrong way, I guess. Link in space is really fun. But it depends on how you make the level, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that works. Sure. I could have jumped on all these guys and probably got an extra life off of it. Yeah, I can't do it now, unfortunately. Team skip and endless? Yeah, pretty much. Why does this one not summon anything? Oh, I don't want that yet! <laughs> I know what happens when I grab those things early. Wait, I don't even- hold on. One moment. This is probably really stupid. Actually, no. No, no, no. I can- I can definitely cheese this. Hold on. There. I can also grab that extra key if I want to. If I want the curse key. Oh, I got a checkpoint. Maybe I should go grab it real quick. Make my life a little bit harder, you know? There could actually be a boss fight here. I'm gonna see if this makes me alive. It probably won't, though. Oh, it did. Oh, heck yeah, I'll take that. That was definitely worth Unnecessary bomb excavation, but whatever. It is what it is, right? Nope, I have to get it anyways. But otherwise, I think I can't progress. Oh. 
really unfortunate for me. Hopefully I don't need Link. Actually, I'm dead! Cool, thanks for the cursed key! Really appreciate that. Unnecessary extra platforming, you know? Oh, I'm here now. Is there a Link for me? I think right here. Yeah. Imagine giving a checkpoint before a bomb excavation. Who would do that? There's a lot more level too, which is unfortunate for me. Yeah, the CP after excavation would have been better, honestly. That seems really fair. Where's my link? There it is. Am I trying to dodge stuff? Oh my god. It's, it's literally Sugar Falcon's worst nightmare right now. And that's not even where you go! What the heck? Give me that spikeman. Did I see a spikeman down there or is that a spine? It's a spikeman. Give me that. I don't even care. Give me that. Unnecessary amount of bomb excavation, that's for sure. Why? Okay. They really want to add so many ideas in their level, didn't they? I'm assuming this is the right pipe then? Okay. Wow. Suddenly boss rush? What? What did Ashra get in the level? I'm gonna kill all of them anyways, because you don't even know what you're dealing with at this point. If they're gonna give you a random phantom key, you know? First key. No. Oh. No. No, I know what I'm playing now. I'm just... I'm gonna stop fighting them now. Is there a Bowser fight as well? It wouldn't surprise me at this point. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Goodbye. Yeah, I did get some lies out of it. That's true. It was worth playing. It's like I played levels before. When you see a boss rush, you immediately assume, assume Bowser at the end. At the very least, you know? Oh. The first jump is just scary. Alright, let's just go down here, I guess. Put that pit there on purpose. I know what they did. 
blind jump. Okay. Oh, there's a lot more. How did you fail that jump, Roy? What the hell? All right, we'll give this one out of endless of an attempt because I don't think it's even worth playing any longer in endless. That is a very brutal, annoying level. And I tried to edge jump because I was wondering if they were going to put an edge Oh, three out of 1,009? Okay. All right. Yeah, that's not how you use them for precision, I agree, for the most part. I do think the first jump is an indication of, like, what they're going to give you. So, I knew it was what I was in for the moment I saw it. That first jump, you know? Wait time now. Watch this be a fake pipe. No, it's not. Oh, I thought that was. Wow. Amazing. <sighs> Glad I skipped it, dude. I thought I was going to go to the left first. That I get a chance to actually think about what I need to do, you know? But it didn't. It went straight to the right and didn't give me a chance to Z. Because I wasn't ready for it, you know? The first wall jump is not all that bad. The lethal injection jump. If you press jump, as soon as you hit the block, you always make it. It's a little lenient. It's not one frame. It's like... Two or three frames. It's probably two. I don't think it's three. I believe you need to see, you know. They didn't even bother to give me a checkpoint. After all that work, you know. I feel like the, the spinies are just extra and should not even be in the level. Right, what's up here? Checkpoint? Oh. Alright. Cool. Z immediately. Got it. This looks like really hard precision, by the way. I didn't hold jump there, by the way. I did a re-grab. I couldn't trust it. Ah, oh, there's a note block on the first one. I'm pretty sure. No, it's on the third one. Damn it. It baited me because clouds have a different sprite in Super Mario World. Damn it. The third one has a, a note block on it to kill you. That's why that's all nice. Yeah, it's two frames lenient. It's not one. So I jumped late there and it still worked. I really don't think Japan's heard of checkpoints before. They've heard of trolls, obviously. I don't think they even know what a checkpoint is. Sometimes they just throw it on the screen and have no idea what it does or what it functions for. It's just there sometimes. That's how I feel like Japan thinks about checkpoints. Or what I like to believe how they think about it. They tend to give a lot of unnecessary checkpoints is what I'm saying. That was the joke. Sorry. And then when you need a checkpoint, they don't give you one. It's funny. Ah, 
too early. You know, a good checkpoint placement actually would have been after that big spike jump. The last one where I just died to. A checkpoint right there before the fire bars would have been an excellent choice, if anything. Yeah, too much speed. Baby player flags? <laughs> you know, you're probably not wrong. That's the sad part. We do know that Japan, even though they're really good players most of the time, we do know they have potential to put in dev exits and dev items because they're too lazy to actually clear their own level. Not all Japan players do that, but a handful of super expert do. I'm only singling them out because you see a lot of Japan in Mario Maker, so... Honestly, a checkpoint right there would have been fine, too. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're back here again. First one should be safe. It's the third one that's bad. Yeah, the third one that's bad. See this real, real quick? Look there, look there. You see that note block right there? That's a cloud. That's a cloud. That's a note block. They're trying to kill you. Is that a dropper? What the fuck is this? Oh. It is a dropper. Wow. Japan strikes again. She's the mushroom out. It really does deserve a boo. It needs a checkpoint, maybe two. But there's just so many things wrong with it. They even have trolls in it. Thanks. Spike your anxiety. Yeah, I can see why. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm totally in agreement with the anxiety factor there. You explained that much to be quiet. Yeah, I was kind of like worried about it being required at the end too because. You know, good players, right? So. I like it when levels teach you what you need to do beforehand. Or at least the idea from it. The first room is always the best room when it comes down to it. Let's you know what they're uh, gonna be throwing in your face. Okay. Did I do that right? I'm not even sure. I'm looking for one ups at this point. Not sure if it's gonna give any other than coins. I don't mind just coins, but. Oh no. I like that design. That's pretty cool. 
I thought for a second the shell had to be in there, but we're fine. Wait, oh, I'm supposed to go under. <laughs> You're not even supposed to interact with them anymore, what? <laughs> they changed the design on me. It's different now. It's not the same. Oh, are you sure it's the best level? I almost died there for no reason other than Spike. I still think it's a really good level, despite the uh, change of consistency. You really shouldn't do that in a level, but... You know, they have coins to tell you where to go, so I guess it's my fault. And I've been following the coins, and for some reason I want to jump on Koopa instead of follow coins. I don't know why I've changed my mind on that. Okay, so we go under. Follow the level design. I knew there'd be a boss. I heard Bowser earlier. Uh, I see. Okay. Perfect. When am I gonna add Morgana to the AFK screen? I don't know. I really don't know, but this is a good level. A little long between checkpoints. Could have condensed the level a little bit better. Hey, Catbag Girl. Uh, as for Morgana, I kind of wanted to remove most of the, um, animations of the Persona 5 characters out. The only time that you ever see them is during raids and redemptions. I don't really want to put them on the BR back screen, if that tells you anything. Is it just guess which one is real? What What is the design choice here? Am I supposed to just figure out which one Fire Flower is real? And go from there. What? Why? Let's only chat for two oh. minutes. Okay, sure. We'll put it on for two minutes. Seems really unnecessary in your level, but okay. Alright. Was I supposed to just go really fast and I fucked it up? Was it really just a time section and I messed it up? That looks like a platform I need to get up to. Does that really be time? Huh. It doesn't seem really fair with the, you know. Actually, I don't think I was timed because everything just kind of, you saw how everything flew up like that? Uh, I don't know. I don't really care to play it again though. Leaf power up, huh? Hard mode. Am I supposed to have leaf here, or am I supposed to do a big jump? There's no information. Oh. Imagine having a hidden, required super leaf. Damn. I hate it when people do that. Fly again, okay. I don't trust myself to not go for the full amount. Oh, hold on. There we go. There was a key? <laughs> what?
Okay. Super leaves everywhere. There's a Bowser. <sighs> Asher will be proud. We have plenty. Well, I shouldn't let him get in here because that would be a bad, yeah. I hit him midair. Did you just see that? That was cool. And I didn't take damage from it. Wow. Oh, wait. I should have flown back up. Shit. There better be another key here. I should have phoned back up. No, don't tell me that I screwed up that bad. I was supposed to... Well, I'm pretty sure either there's a hidden key or you're supposed to fly back up. And honestly, I would rather just fly to the right at this point. Wait, I'm in somewhere... I'm somewhere else. Did you see that? I'm not in the same spot anymore. What? Wait, I'm at the end. Okay, then. I don't know why there's another key door now. Is there a dev exit? Kind of curious. Let's go take a look and see if there's a dev exit. And I only had to use, like, what? One extra super leaf? I did pretty good on that boss fight. What in the world? What is that? I want to know what that is. I'll play the level one more time. I want. I have. I just want to know what that is. That looks like where the key door ends up being. I'm actually thinking that maybe the creator doesn't know how to do the super hover. That's just my guess. Where is it again? There it is. We're not supposed to fly here, I don't think. <laughs> How are you supposed to kill this guy? What? There's no sea jumps. Oh. <laughs> Okay then, uh, all right, fine. I don't even know. They want me to put firefighter, but now I'm good. <sighs> There's no reason for this section. You can just fly over. The creator didn't know you could fly over. Why? They didn't know any. Hold on. I'm gonna try something really interesting. I might be able to, to skip everything in the level. Oh, okay, hold on. I can still skip it here. Imagine playing your level. Dr. Duck taught me how to do all of that, all right? Clear check is like two and a half minutes. Yeah, maybe I should have left a comment saying how to actually beat the level really easily. But I already got two comments in there. I think it's good enough. We'll figure it out. Well, 
21 seconds called blood bath. Probably shouldn't even touch this. I need more speed there. Mm, that's definitely not worth it in endless. I needed to hold right from the spring to make that jump. They used the wrong death exit. Honestly, I don't think they even had a death exit. I just, I don't think they even were capable of doing that. I'll take it because I could utilize it. I'm gonna take damage on purpose. I probably, mm, yeah, that's a skip. The end's right there though. Hey, I gotta, you know, do some content sometimes. I can't just be skipping everything if I don't think I can do it. If I think I could do it and I don't want to touch it and I shouldn't touch it, well. Buffer jump? Is this a buffer up throw? Can you duck jump under? No, you can't. This, this has got to be a buffer jump, right? Yeah, I think that's a buffer jump. I don't think I can cheese it. I'm pretty sure you have to do it with the buffer jump. Or they want you to get close to the saw blade. I'm not sure what they want you to do there. It's all good. Uh, don't worry about it. I know you're teasing. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't ready, all right? Jesus. Non-casual Kaizo. Okay. Or casual castle. Well, now that I died, I might as well just give it a shot. Oh, that's a hard jump. Well, like Kaizo, huh? Chill jumps are in Kaizo. They're not like Kaizo. You lied. Oh my god. What are these levels today, man? There's probably more than one. If, if there's one power drop, there's more than one. Trade in a 10,000 treasure, and everybody wins. 1,000 rupees for everyone in chat. <sighs> Good job on that, though, for everybody else. A shooter's touch. Is this a puzzle level? What am I doing? I have to win with the shell in my hand. That's fine. Uh, I can get lives off the shells, guys, down here. So hold on. Let me at least do that real quick. I don't know if I want to touch that coin. I think that coin might actually be bad. And that's why I'm worried about it. I do think they want you to throw a shell up there, though. Where the, you know, the mice are at. You know, you can also shell jump up here, too. There's no reason why you can't. But I'm pretty sure you just want to throw a shell up there. And then it activates something that comes down. That's just my guess. What? What do you mean you come back? Oh, my almost died there. Uh, this is really risky. There we go. You're not supposed to be in here, but I don't give a crap. Actually, I'm kind of stuck in here, aren't I? Yep. Hold on. I think you can make it out. I don't want to throw the shell without making it out first. Because throwing that shell would be a really bad idea, but I think you can get out. Hold on. Maybe not. This was a mistake. But I'm pretty sure I made it out of here before. It's really hard. Yeah. Uh, I want to see what's in here first before I skip. Ow. I just had to do a shell jump. Never mind. Moving on. Shell jump was the answer. That was my bad. But you know what? I wasn't going to really play that anyways, because if it required a shell jump, I had... Well, you could use a spring to get up there, I guess, but... I guess I didn't have to use a shell jump. Really. 
anything up here? No, it doesn't seem to be. Do they really want you to do a triple here? Yeah, they do. Oh my god, dude. That is super hard to pull off. It's better to just do it this way. Random star run? Probably gotta go up this way. Side, if I can't get them from Ooh no if I get a if I get a coin block I might be screwed hold on I gotta go the other way for the coins because otherwise I would get locked in and die probably though I might lock oh nice imagine seeing that I'm going to assume that Z, Z, Z jump to Z jump might just be straight up safe. I hate this first jump, it's the worst. This is a very blind level, by the way, if you were wondering what's going on. I mean, that's pretty good, but... Okay. Pretty sure Z-Jump to Z-Jump is safe, but I do want those coins. I'm gonna get a little greedy here. There are more coins down there, but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, it could be. Who knows? Okay, hold on. It looks like a bottom of the flagpole deal here. Yeah. Unfortunate for the bottom of the flagpole. Let's see, one, two blind things. If you fall, three blind things actually. If you fall down there near the end, there might not be a way to get back up. I'm just gonna boot for the fact that it's extremely blind and tight. World record <laughs> attempts on the last cleared level for 10 minutes. Oh, all right. We can go do that, that's fine. Sure. Wait, I know this trick. It's mad at you. I actually, hold on. Let me see what he does first. Does, does he die for this? He dies. Fuck. Uh, that's my only way to win. If I'm not mistaken, this is Uno Mas, and it requires you to time your uh, your entry point. I'm pretty sure this blump pushes you into the flagpole. If I'm not mistaken, I can do this, but I don't actually remember the the, uh, the attack in general. So I have to skip it, unfortunately. I've seen this tech done before, I just don't remember the requirements. But sure, we'll go do this for about 10 minutes. We can get the world record on this pretty easily, I feel like. We'll see. I don't think I even need to go up there. I think I just wasted time. I got my 1-ups at least. That's how you're supposed to get your 1-ups before you finish off the level, you know? They're not going to give it to you, unfortunately. Oh. 
Wow, you can almost just one shot that with the perfect star run. I don't know if that's possible, but if it is, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I can't do that. That star is actually making things worse, surprisingly. That makes the, the speedrun a bit harder to do. Okay, well, at least I stopped myself from actually being dumb. That's good. There. Wait, what about my brother? Oh, yeah, you're living with my brother, I know. He's a pain in the butt, I know. I know he is. Yeah, no more squeaky chair on the other side of the microphone. Because my brother lives with him now. Which, at some point, I think we're all gonna live together anyways if it all works out, so, yeah. My brother does listen from time to time, but he doesn't like relay any information that's important, you know, so. I shouldn't have played this. Oh, I had a feeling it was gonna push me back into normal mode. I'm I'm good on these kind of levels. I'm not interested in playing that. I mean if you smack him with a broom trent, you'll be alright. Eventually, he'll learn, right? All ten one-ups. Legend of... Oh, it's just one-ups. I don't need to worry about coins. Yeah. Okay, that looks like a P-Switch thing. I'm going to assume that this door is important. Yeah, okay, that's where the first thing... I, um, uh, I made a grave error. That is one. That is one I missed. I don't know why that's like that, but okay. Are there any more I need to know about over here? If I find all ten, I'll restart the level, otherwise it's not worth anyone's time. Did they mark all the one-ups? That's actually really nice of them. Infinite links, of course. That's fine. Because look, infinite link. There's really no, uh... There's just no harm other than sniper thwomps that don't matter because you have infinite links, so whatever. Who cares, right? You can get on top of that guy. Am I supposed to? That would be kind of stupid. I think I'm supposed to get on top of this guy. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if you have it. Well, I could go down and get a link. But I can't put a link on top of that blomp, so unless it's hidden, this should be safe. Not safe, okay. I know where this key door goes to, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna wait this out a little bit. One and then jump down. Yep. Aha! It's three. I am at, technically I'm at four right now. I kind of want to go back to that key door real quick before I do anything else in the level. Because that would be really smart. You see the key door over there? I want to go check it out. Why is, there a, why is there a shell here? That's weird. Yeah, I know, Trent. I know exactly what you're talking about. What? Uh... Hold on, can I just make this jump? I'm actually really curious. I can keep the key. 
As long as I'm willing to uh, do without a power up for just a little bit and do this and get up to that. Okay, I can keep it key. Good to know. Good to know. And technically at six. I missed one. Oh, I deserve that. That's okay though. Uh, there it. Hold on. I can go back and get a power up. I'm gonna play it safe and go back and get a power up. Almost died there. I don't know why this pipe is here other than to get a power up. That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe I have to kill that Oopa somehow. Maybe he's important for the kill. God, I really hope he doesn't have a key in, in the Koopa. Nor does it matter because I have a way to cheese all of this anyways if there's a key requirement. So it doesn't really matter. I think there's something in the top left corner. That's why I had to reset here. I think I messed up and I was supposed to just go straight up, is my guess. Why else should you put a line of enemies if you don't have a reason for them? Okay. Cool. Wasting my time again. Wait, how can this one... Hold on. If this is real, then I have to damage boost. Oh. Okay, we have trolls in the level. Good to know. I was just gonna kamikaze bomb myself and get the one up if there was one, but nope. Funny guy. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. So I can definitely save a key. It's definitely doable. There's a red coin up here I have to get. Oh, that's why the pipe is there. This is actually cheese. Good to know. Good, good, good. Good to know. It's a big risk, though. Uh, actually, no. no. No, no, I want to... I have an idea. Hold on. Let me kill this guy first. I have an interesting idea. This might work and keep my power up. We'll see. Yeah, you're supposed to use a the key there, but... <sighs> you can't bring it over there. However... Oh, that's also an issue, too. Hold on. There we go. I have an idea. This may or may not work, we'll see. Yeah, I have to take damage, grab... That's, it's not gonna work out. I just have to cheese it. It could, it could potentially work out, but I don't trust myself to do it. I also have to kill the, the Hammer Bros first before I do this. They're very dangerous otherwise. There we go, we saved the we saved the key. Sword, it's okay. Nothing there. Anything over here? Anything actually hidden? I go in there. Okay. For a link. For a one up. Let me 
I've seen two on it still. But I watch out for trolls. And you know they exist. This is probably for the red coin key door. But I'm fine because I have an extra key because I cheesed it. Morton fight, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it until I see a Bowser fight, then I'll probably skip it. Or a BS fight that's just not good, you know. I have a safety key, basically, is what I'm saying. It's secretly a boss rush, why? <laughs> Nobody asked for a boss rush. Get out of here with that. Is that bait? No. Uh, how did I not hit that? That was weird. Last one? Okay. This is probably a link, so I'm not gonna grab it. And that's it? Okay. Saving the key didn't do anything for me when it's not a full Bosch rush. Wouldn't be for the troll mostly, and for wasting my time. Hunting for these one-ups. They were marked, yes, but the P-Switch shenanigans, like... You can lose it, which is really unfortunate, so... 